Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel if you are new here, my name is Darrell. In today's video I'm going to be showing you one of my favourite looks to do and that is my fall makeup. I love the season of fall. When I think of fall I think of like pumpkins, I feel of like burnt oranges, I think of bold lips. I feel like it's a really good month to be quite creative. This is a look I tend to do every fall. I love the look of burnt oranges on my eyes and I really enjoy the look of a dark burgundy lip on me. So I thought as it's one of my favourite looks to do, I definitely have to film it on my channel. So if you would like to see how I got my full glam 2020, please keep watching. But before we get into the video, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and let's get on with the video. Okay guys, let's start with some skincare for those full months. I'm going to be taking my trusty Bobbi Brown vitamin infused face. I absolutely love this face cream it's so hydrating and it really does smooth out your skin and it's very hydrating as soon as you put it on your skin to blur out those pores I'm using the Farsali skin to blur which I love to use mainly in my t-zone give me a really nice blurred effect this is an extra step you don't have to do this but I like to use my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter hydrating primer just to give you extra hydration in the full months because during the time of when the weather starts to get colder your skin tends to get drier and I've already got dry skin so this is just to ensure that my makeup doesn't set into fine lines and then my face doesn't get overly dry during the day and it stays nice and hydrated. For foundation I'm using one of my favourite foundations which is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. I kind of go back and forth between this one and the hydrating one. I really love both to be honest. I find that both of the foundations are very long wearing which I love and I take this in the shade 310 and just dot it round in the areas. So I want my foundation and I'm going to take the Fenty Buffer brush, I think it's in 115, I'm just going to buff that in. I'm just taking the Morphe Beauty Sponge just to make sure there's no streaks from the brush and that my foundation looks as smooth as I can get it which is really not hard with this foundation because it's literally like a filter on your face. Okay, now that I've got my foundation on, I'm now gonna move on to concealer. I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Labs concealer. And I'm using it in the shade LM13, which has a really nice yellow undertone. It is very full coverage, so I tend not to use too much of this because it's very full coverage and you can kind of get carried away really quickly but I really love the finish of this concealer it's such a beautiful finish and I'm going to blend that out using my beauty blender for cream bronzer I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty cream cheeks out bronzer and I'm going to be using it in shade 05 teddy And they blend out so nicely as well. Now I'm going to blend that out using the Fenty Beauty brush that they recommend you blend it out with. I love how this brush really tucks in underneath the cheekbones to give that seamless blend. If you're a makeup beginner and you're looking for a really good cream bronzer that's not too harsh to the point where you can't blend it out and you've got a whole mess on your face, definitely use the Fenty Beauty cream bronzers because they're just so beautiful on the skin and they're so easy to blend out. Okay, now we're looking nice and sculpted and blended. I'm now gonna go in with powder and I'm so excited to show you this powder. Today I'm gonna be using the new and long awaited, let me just say, long awaited, yes. Like to the point where I've waited for this powder for nearly, what, three years. This is the new Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Honey. Finally, us tan girls get a shade in the Laura Mercier powder. And I have to say, I've been absolutely loving the shade and the finish. The finish is exactly like the translucent formula. Very finely milled, very weightless, and it doesn't change the color of your foundation. I've seen as well, a lot of people with deeper complexions using this as a brightener, and it looks absolutely gorgeous on them. This shade kind of reminds me of my favorite setting powder, which you all know, is the Fenty Beauty powder. 
in the shade Banana. It's very similar to that, so if you're looking for a colour comparison, it really does come close to that powder. It just looks so flawless on the skin. I've been absolutely obsessed with this. So beautiful on the face. As you can see, it's just so smooth on the skin. This powder is incredible. Okay, for bronzer, of course, I have to use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade number three in tan. I have raved so much about this bronzer. It's just so beautiful on the skin. I love the shade. It's a very close to my natural bronze I've got on my face and it's so easy to blend out. Okay, let's cut them cheeks. And let's not forget the nose like I always seem to do. Can I just say I really love how my complexion is looking right now? Perfecto. Okay, so for the brows, you know the drill. I'm going to do this off camera because brows are just so tedious and they take forever, at least mine do. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty, which is one of my favourite eyebrow pencils, if not my probably my favourite because of the shade. Oh, it's just perfect. So I'll be back with my brows done. Okay guys, I'm back with my eyebrows done. By the way, I used the Fenty Beauty MVP brow in the shade Black Brown. Sorry, I always forget to tell you the shade it's in black brown and i set my eyebrows using the anastasia beverly hills brow gel and i primed my eyelids using the nars soft matte concealer in the shade macadamia so guys in the season of fall i really really enjoy using like burnt oranges on my eyes it kind of gets me in the mood for fall i really like a burnt orange eye look with like a bold lip color i don't know i always do it every fall so to achieve that i like to use the huda beauty topaz obsession palette this is probably my favorite eyeshadow palette by Huda Beauty. This is the one I use the most. This is what it looks like. Just gives me the vibe of like fall and like pumpkin spice. It's such a versatile palette as well because I don't only use it for fall. I use it pretty much all year round but this is definitely the one I grab for fall. So to set the concealer I've laid down on my eyelids. I'm going to use this middle shade which is a really nice nude shade. I'm just going to set that concealer in place so it doesn't crease. For my transition colour, I'm going in with this first orange shade just here, which is like the perfect burnt orange shade. And I kind of just dust that all over my lid. This palette is very pigmented, so I would advise that you kind of go in with a little bit and just like build up. I'm going to now use a smaller compact blending brush and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is like a very mustard shade just to kind of blend on top to add like a really nice contrast between the two shades like so okay now i'm gonna go in with this bottom middle shade it's similar to this shade but i feel like it's got more of a red undertone in it so i'm just gonna take some of that tap it off and go in in the crease with it just to add some more vibrant energy to these colors Now we're going to deepen up that crease. I'm going to use this dark brown right here, which has like a plum undertone to it. I'm going to tuck that into my crease. And I like to take this colour, just tuck it in at the outer corners of my eyes and then slowly start bringing it in with what's ever left on my brush. I'm going to take that same colour and start dabbing it in the inner corners of my eyes just to start creating that halo effect okay i'm going to use two shimmer shades on my eyes but i'm going to go in with this color first it's a very orangey bronzy shade which i love just gonna pat that shade right in the middle like so just keeping it in the center Okay, now I'm going to go in with the gold shimmer shade right here and then I'm just going to place that on top. I think together they make such a pretty colour. I feel like it just makes that shade more vibrant. And if you thought I was going to stop there, you are sadly mistaken. On top of that shimmer shade, I'm going to use the MAC Dazzle 
liquid eyeshadow and this is in the shade Blinking Brilliant and I'm obsessed with this shade. It goes perfectly with this burnt orange look. I do not do this look without this. I just lay that on top. It gives it more of a metallic look. Oh, bitch! Yes. I'm gonna use a mixture of these two colours here. Just tuck that in. Now I'm gonna quickly take the NYX eye pencil and I'm just gonna add some white to my waterline. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use the KVD eyeliner in Trooper. I'm just gonna do like a normal like cat eye winged eyeliner okay guys so I finished off my eye look off camera I just used some mascara this is the benefit roller lash my favorite mascara for lashes I used the lily lashes in goddess light for blush I want to use like a really nice bright orange the brightest one I own is the NARS in Thai Taishi Mala. I'm not I'm gonna try and say that even though I just did take that on the apples of my cheeks it's very pigmented so little goes a long way oh I love this color ties in perfectly with the eyes for highlighter I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill loose highlighter in the shade balm which is a really nice golden shade a little does go a long way so as I've learned in the past I'm gonna take a little and just oh my god look how pretty that is so pretty oh bitch she is definitely pigmented yes this is exactly what your girl needed spell on chin I'm actually going to take a little bit of that and place it in my inner corners or tear duct rather and I'm going to take some on my brow bone right here okay guys for lips I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty lip stunner paint and this is in the shade underdog I love like dark brown burgundy shades for fall looks especially to go with this bold burnt orange look I think it goes perfectly together I absolutely love Fenty's lip stunners they're just so good Stunning. I absolutely love this colour. Okay, now to set my face, I'm using the Huda Beauty Set and Spray. This is the hydrating one. So guys, this is the end of my video. This is my full glam 2020 look right here i really hope you've enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you would like to see more of me please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell button so you're notified in all my videos when i upload you can follow me on all my social medias that is at dollface Darrell beauty you can find me there on instagram and on tiktok so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one